Lesson 20, The Indian System. At the time of the treaties of Traverse de Sioux and Mendota in 1851, the Dakota of Minnesota were overseen by the United States Indian System, a federal program to manage affairs between the United States government and the American Indians. The system was managed by the Bureau of Indian Affairs within the U.S. Department of the Interior. It was a political hierarchy filled with appointed officials. The United States was divided by region into what was called Indian superintendencies. Each superintendency was then divided by agencies and sub-agencies. The system was supervised by the Commissioner of Indian Affairs, while each superintendency had a superintendent of Indian Affairs, and each agency had an appointed agent. In Minnesota, there was the Minnesota Superintendency, which included the Chippewa, Winnebago, and St. Peter's agencies. The Dakota were part of the St. Peter's Agency and were known as the Sioux of the Mississippi, while in 1851, their agent was Nathaniel McLean and their superintendent was Alexander Ramsey. The Commissioner of Indian Affairs at the time was Luke Lee. Together, McLean, Ramsey, and Lee played a major role in negotiating the Treaties of Traverse de Sioux and Mendota. Each year, the appointed Indian agents were responsible for reporting to the Superintendent of Indian Affairs for his agency while the Superintendent then reported to the Commissioner of Indian Affairs. These reports were released in the Annual Report of the Commissioner of Indian Affairs. The reports were organized by the Superintendency, Agency, and Sub-Agency and included information relating to negotiation and enforcement of treaties, land matters, Indian emigration and subsistence, intrusions on Indian land, law and order, annuity and other payments, intertribal hostilities, military operations, depredations claims, traders and licenses, missionaries and schools, construction and repair of buildings, purchase and transportation of goods and supplies, and employees and accounts. Today, these reports provide an in-depth look at the annual condition of each Indian agency as seen through the eyes of appointed officials.